Hey everyone, travel is still severely restricted and it's important to take care of yourself during this pandemic. But it seems like the world is slowly starting to reopen, which is good. I pray you're all well during this time. And like you, I look forward to the day we can travel freely and see the world again. So with that in mind, where are we going today? We're off to Karatsu, Japan, on the island of Kyushu. I started my journey at Tenjin Station in Fukuoka. It's about an hour and a half ride on the Fukuoka subway's Kuko line. The cost is about 1,160 yen, or $10.79. It's well worth it. Along the way, you'll see some of the most beautiful scenery and coastline anywhere. On this route, you'll pass little villages and farms all along the way. So enjoy the scenery and the ride. The ride down there, with the spectacular views, are well worth the trip on its own. But we're not here just to ride the train. No. We're here to see Karatsu. Why Karatsu? And what's there to see and do there? Well, let's find out. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to see everything. So I'll just focus on a few things. I guess that means one day I have to come back and show you some more. Karatsu, thanks to its location in western Japan, was an important port between Japan, China, Korea, and the rest of East Asia. The most famous event that takes place here is the Karatsu Kunchi, which takes place November 2nd to the 4th. I miss the event, but there's a small shrine you can visit, and there is a museum which houses the Hikiyama. Here are some of the Hikiyama. Taking a walk down Karatsu's beautiful beach, I reached another place this city is famous for, its castle. The castle was reconstructed in 1966, and the day that I was there, more construction was going on. Karatsu Castle was built in the Hirayama style of a Japanese castle. Other castles you may be more familiar with in Japan are Edo Castle, where Tokyo Imperial Palace is, or Nagoya Castle. You can go inside where there is a museum, with some exhibits and history of the castle. I recommend checking it out. However, there is limited English used inside. They did have literature in English to help explain some of the exhibits. The castle is built on top of a hill. I made it all the way to the top and was rewarded with beautiful views of the city, Karatsu Bay, Torishima Island, and the nearby peninsula where the pine grove is located. Even though it's a reconstruction, it's beautifully done and is certainly worth the visit during your day trip. Unfortunately, it's time to get back on the train and head back to Fukuoka. It was a lovely day trip and I was so happy it was such a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me on this quick day trip down to Karatsu. Again, there are many more things to see and do, and maybe one day I can visit and experience the Karatsu Kunchi. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video helpful, please share it too. Thank you.